The James Webb Space Telescope promised to be a beacon of discovery, to shine a light into the vast darkness of space. It promised revelations beyond anything we had ever known. And not only did it deliver, it shattered every expectation. In just a few short years, this remarkable machine has rewritten our understanding of the universe. These are the remarkable discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. From galaxies so ancient they shouldn't even exist, to the faint chemical whispers of life on distant worlds, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown us wonders we never dreamed possible. It has peeled back the veil on newborn stars, revealed colossal black holes at the dawn of time, and even uncovered a strange new mystery, objects that aren't quite galaxies and not quite black holes either. A candidate for an entirely new class of cosmic being, the so-called black hole star. So let's dive into all of this and more. When the James Webb Space Telescope first opened its golden eye, Astronomers expected to find young, chaotic galaxies. Tiny clumps of stars just beginning to take shape in the early universe. Instead, what they saw made cosmologists rub their eyes in disbelief. In the Webb Deep Field images, galaxies appeared less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies far too massive, too structured, too evolved for such an early age. Some of them contained as many stars as the Milky Way, even though the universe itself was still in its infancy. According to our models, galaxies were supposed to grow slowly, merging piece by piece over billions of years. Yet here they were, ancient giants, fully formed while the cosmos was still learning to walk. If these findings hold, they suggest one of two things. Either our understanding of dark matter and galaxy formation is flawed, or the early universe was far more efficient at building stars and galaxies than we ever dreamed possible. And this wasn't a one-off. Webb has kept finding them. A whole population of these impossible galaxies, scattered across the young cosmos like cosmic rebels, defying the textbooks. For some astronomers, who hoped Webb would simply confirm their existing worldview, it was a disappointment. But for the curious, these revelations are cerebral ambrosia. We're watching creation play out far earlier than it should have. And now, we must answer the inevitable question. What, if anything, have we got wrong in our cosmological models? As if impossibly ancient galaxies weren't shocking enough, James Webb uncovered something even stranger lurking within them. Black holes. Not the small ones born from collapsing stars, but supermassive black holes. Millions, sometimes billions of times heavier than the sun. And they weren't supposed to be there. According to the textbooks, black holes grow slowly, feeding on gas, dust, and unlucky stars. Even with the fastest growth models, it should take billions of years to reach such monstrous sizes. Yet Webb has spotted them less than a billion years after the Big Bang. Cosmic leviathans appearing almost immediately after the lights of the universe first switched on. So how did these monsters appear so early? One leading idea is the theory of direct collapse. Instead of beginning life as small remnants of stars, enormous clouds of pristine hydrogen gas may have collapsed straight into black holes with tens of thousands of solar masses. These heavy seeds would give black holes a massive head start, growing into giants while the universe was still young. But there's another, even stranger possibility. Some astrophysicists suggest these may be primordial black holes, objects born not from stars at all, but from density ripples in the chaos just after the Big Bang. If true, then black holes may be as old as the universe itself, shaping galaxies from the very beginning. Whatever the answer, these findings challenge our understanding of cosmic evolution. 
Instead of black holes being the consequence of galaxies, perhaps galaxies themselves were shaped around these early monsters. The universe may have grown up not in spite of black holes, but because of them. As if the early universe wasn't puzzling enough, James Webb revealed something even stranger. Tiny, compact objects scattered across the deep field images. Astronomers nicknamed them the Little Red Dots. At first, they looked like small galaxies. But when Webb dissected their light, the spectra told a different story. These objects were far too bright, far too energetic for their apparent size. Some of them shine with the intensity of an entire galaxy, packed into a space smaller than the Milky Way's core. So what are they? One idea is that we're seeing supermassive black holes caught in the act of feeding, their accretion disks blazing so fiercely that they outshine everything around them. But even that doesn't quite fit. Another hypothesis, still speculative but gaining attention, is that these could represent an entirely new kind of cosmic object. Some researchers call them black hole stars. Picture a black hole wrapped in a massive shroud of gas, a hybrid object blazing with both the power of a star and the hunger of a black hole. If that's true, then Webb may have uncovered the first evidence of a whole new class of astrophysical being. Neither star, nor galaxy, nor black hole as we know it, but something in between. Another challenge to accepted wisdom. And they keep coming. Beyond galaxies and black holes, James Webb has turned its gaze to something closer to home, the birth of stars themselves. In the Carina Nebula, Webb revealed the so-called cosmic cliffs, towering walls of gas and dust sculpted into peaks and valleys by radiation from newborn stars. Through Hubble, much of this region looked dark, almost impenetrable. But Webb sees in infrared light, which passes through dust clouds that block visible light. Suddenly, what was once shadow becomes a nursery alive with stars. It has done the same with the Eagle Nebula, the iconic pillars of creation. Hubble showed us their majestic silhouettes, but Webb pierced the dust, exposing glowing pockets where stars are forming inside the pillars themselves. These colossal towers, once seen only as mystery and shadow, are revealed as engines of creation, heavy with newborn suns. Infrared vision is the key. Where Hubble was blinded, Webb sees clearly, pulling back the curtain on the hidden universe. And it goes further still. In systems like HL Tau, Webb has captured protoplanetary disks in astonishing detail, swirling rings of gas and dust where new worlds are assembling. Inside these disks, grains of dust collide, stick and grow. From these humble beginnings, planets are born. With Webb, we are not just looking into deep time, we are watching the very act of creation unfolding before our eyes. Not all of Webb's discoveries lie at the edge of the universe. Some are right here in our own cosmic backyard. When Webb turned its gaze on Saturn, astronomers expected a familiar sight. Rings glittering, atmosphere banded. But in infrared, Saturn looked almost unrecognisable. Its upper atmosphere appeared strangely dark, while the icy rings blazed bright around it. Methane in the atmosphere swallowed the infrared light, turning the planet itself into a shadow against its own halo. And then came the real surprise. Webb detected mysterious dark bead-like structures drifting in Saturn's ionosphere, lined up above a warped, star-shaped pattern lower in the stratosphere. The two seemed to echo each other, vertically aligned, as if connected, yet no model predicts such a thing. 
For a world we've studied for centuries, Saturn suddenly feels alien again. Webb reminds us that even in our own solar system, there are still riddles waiting in plain sight. If galaxies and stars show us the grand architecture of the cosmos, exoplanets show us something far more intimate, the possibility of life. James Webb has turned its infrared spectrographs onto distant worlds, splitting their light into rainbows of data. Hidden in those rainbows are fingerprints, chemical signatures that reveal what alien skies are made of. Already Webb has detected water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane in the atmospheres of planets many light years away. Worlds like WASP 96b, a giant exoplanet, have shown shimmering traces of water. Others have revealed the hazy smog of methane and carbon dioxide, hinting at complex chemistry. But perhaps the most tantalising target is K218b. Orbiting in its star's habitable zone, Webb found evidence of methane and carbon dioxide and a tentative signal of something far stranger, dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, this molecule is produced almost entirely by life. The detection isn't confirmed, and scientists remain cautious. But even the possibility that Webb has glimpsed a biosignature is enough to ignite imaginations. For the first time, we are not just finding planets, we are starting to taste their air. And in that air, perhaps, lie the first tantalising signatures of life beyond Earth. For all its breakthroughs, Webb has also deepened the mysteries that already haunt cosmology. Chief among them, dark matter and dark energy. Webb's steep field images, combined with its ability to measure how light bends around massive objects, have provided some of the sharpest tests yet of gravitational lensing. By studying how galaxies warp the light behind them, astronomers can map the otherwise invisible scaffolding of dark matter. In some cases, Webb has revealed small-scale structures that don't quite fit the predictions of our best models. And then there is dark energy the force driving the universe's accelerating expansion. Webb wasn't built to solve that riddle, but its measurements of supernovae, galaxy clustering, and early structure formation may provide new constraints. Already, hints are emerging that the expansion rate of the universe, the so-called Hubble tension, might be even more complicated than we thought. If dark matter is the skeleton of the universe, and dark energy its hidden pulse, Webb is beginning to sketch their outlines with greater clarity than ever before. But the true nature of these cosmic phantoms remains elusive. The more Webb shows us, the more we realise how much we still don't know. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us galaxies that shouldn't exist. Black holes born too soon. Newborn stars lighting their nurseries the first hints of alien air, and even new mysteries in our own backyard. It is, in every sense, a time machine, showing us the universe not as it is, but as it was billions of years ago. Yet what it really reveals is something deeper, our own hunger to understand. Each image Webb sends back is more than a picture, it is a question mark, thrown across the cosmos. A challenge to everything we thought we knew. And behind those golden mirrors, the telescope reflects something else as well. Us. Because in the end, it is a cosmic irony. That something so impossibly small, so fragile, can dare to observe and deconstruct the largest and mightiest things in the universe. I really appreciate you watching. 
Stella Stories is a tiny channel, and every interaction from you helps more than you know. So maybe leave a like, or even a comment. See you next time.